Welcome to the Dropping a Coil show. I'm Flash, and we have Larry Rob, Larry Woods and Rob in the back waiting, uh, waiting to talk to you guys. Uh, tonight we are in the month of September, the 3rd of September, 2020, and we're on RealLibertyMedia.com. Thanks a lot, Grim. I would assume we made it to the live. I have heard nothing yet, but, uh, for your, uh, chatting experience we've got a couple people in the chat room today some bots and bodies barman grimner moose girl kate anti asmo chelsea doni chloe chloe me ga dread jays nines jays meister brow prince rob works trust no one f vanna white weather dork phantom cc66 cyborg noodle Ensive, Matt WJ2002, Mr. Snick, Plandemic Pwn Sauce, Smart Ass, and the Holiest Roger. And today I entitled our show, let me see what I called it, Do No Harm? Question mark. I thought we would probably have some fun talking about that. <laughs> ah, I hear the thing in the background. What do you, about you, Larry? You hear him or are you joining him? I, I'm hearing it. Yeah. Oh. No. I just been so, sitting here coughing myself. So what do you think of the, the title of the show, Do No Harm? Question mark. Is that anything fun for you? Well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. hurt take those who wish to hurt themselves. Yeah. Well, let, how, does it, but how does it apply to what's going on right now? Well, look at all the idiots wearing masks. That, okay, when you breathe CO2, that destroys brain cells. You know, a, a little common sense here, folks. Take that mask off. Don't let your children wear them. It, it, it's, it's time to revolt against the mask. And I just... I still refuse to wear one. I made the cops come outside the police station when I had some papers that had to be signed. Because I would not wear the mask to go in there. I've been thrown out of lots of places. You're not going to wear the mask and don't come in. I, one guy gave me a mask at Walmart and I put it on my wrist and I said, it doesn't say where you got to wear it. <laughs> and then it did my thing. So you don't have to wear that thing. It, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's showing that, that you're subservient. It's telling you to shut your mouth. Bow down before the oppressor. It's, no. I ain't up for it. I ain't doing it. You're the man, Larry. You're the devout coward. <laughs> I'm, I'm just fed up with the mass bullshit. Yep, it's getting old. Well, the the children are who's suffering with it. Yeah. Little kids well, they're are walking to school with the mask on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it hurts the developing minds more than anything else to breathe back in the CO2 that you're yeah. expelling. That's why you exhale, to get rid of the bad parts. Yes, that's the reason. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's, there's a reason you blow them toxins out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Same it's, as I'm, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, I'm well-read. And... Just do a little research, folks. Read the package that the mask comes in. It is not yeah. effective in any form of, of disease whatsoever. Yeah. And it also, it has to be disposed of every 20 minutes. Yeah, it's completely ineffective. So, yeah. So, they're just doing this to see if they can make you fucking do it. And there it is. And it's working. 
Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Look it, at all the idiots. I see people driving down the road in their car with a mask on. Oh, uh, uh, so much shit ever. Yeah, you see don't people riding around on a bicycle with a freaking mask on. Yeah. Okay, but when you've got the threat of the, you know, the man making it mandatory and it's people... It's not even mandatory here, except in, in buildings and like going in restaurants and stuff like that. Well, I, I'm like you guys. I ain't wearing... Fuck, I wouldn't wear it... <laughs> oh, it's going to be a lonely life in the future. I can just... <laughs> yeah, no shit, <laughs> man. Well, no, I just tell people, I, if I have to, I'm not coming here. I'm going to wear right. a fucking mask to come here. That's not me. Yeah. You just lost my so, business. Yeah, but I got to compromise with my wife, and I ended up in, in a big hoopla about my personal belief system. Yeah. Because, you know, mandates country to country are fucking mandates. And people are going to either abide or not abide, right? So yeah. you got that crowd that's going to go along with it, no matter what you get, come up with. Oh, yeah. Well, wear a pink shirt on Wednesday between 3 and 7, and some fucking group will form around it. <laughs> That's the truth, man. Well, you know, but, I mean, I, I've i always been real pro-Denmark because I'm comfortable here. So, but when you start fucking with my air, you know, because that's my air. You don't own the air. You think you own the air. And you can tax me all you fucking like, but you know what? It's my fucking air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's not a popular way to talk. People don't like that. Because, you know, the the latest um, slogan crap is, we're all in this together. And I sit back and think, no, we're fucking not. What are you on Mars, you idiot? Oh, How can we be in this together? Huh? You ain't paying my bills. Well, that's just for a beginning you know, come on, Larry, please. There's way yeah. more reasons than just that. But I don't know. I don't have the drive to bully other people I don't know around. I, I think I'd like to be introduced to you before I start telling you what to do. <laughs> Absolutely. If I don't know your middle name, you know, if I haven't seen the inside of your, you know, this, that, or the other, then I don't think i got any real business directing your life. <laughs> But, uh, unfortunately, that's not how the system works, is it, Rob? <laughs> no. No. Well, I, well, I can I, tell Larry's a little hot about this mask thing. Any any other yeah. good stories about the mask one? Um, well, I was kicked out of three barber shops. Does that count? Uh, uh, yeah, but, but that's that was the old stuff. The one that you came up with today was new. Oh, the police station thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. it was ridiculous. I had to go and sign some legal papers, and, and it was, it ended up having to be at the police station. So, uh, I went down and walked in the door, and there he was, the little rent-a-cop. And I know that this guy wasn't a policeman because he was too fat and... <coughs> Your three-year-old child could have whooped his ass. Let's put it that way. Uh, Outrun him. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, really. And and he says, "Here's your mask." And I says, "I don't read. I don't wear a mask. Read your law." And he says, "You got to have a mask on to come in here." And I says, "According to your regulations, I don't have to have a mask because." I've got COPD, bronchitis, emphysema, and I wear hearing aid. And they said, well, you got to wear a mask to come in here. So, well, I'm not coming in. You get your guy to come out and see me. And so I did my business at the police station on their front porch. <laughs> oh, wow. That's that's like that kid you don't want in your house. Well, <laughs> Make him I'm, wait out on the staircase. That's it. Make him wait outside. Wow, oh, damn. I'm a crotchety old man. I can get away with it. Well, yeah. that I've got <laughs> Not only that, I could have whooped everybody that I saw there anyway. Ooh. I mean, it, it wasn't, there wasn't many people there. <laughs> but, but Larry, that, that's why they shoot unarmed civilians. Because Absolutely. The drill You're fight, picking, huh? they shoot. Yeah. Bunch of <laughs> pussies. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been yeah. a big fan of the weapons. 
I don't know. Oh, I, I mean, love kind weapons. Of useless. I well, love weapons. Somebody that's holding a gun is the safest person to be around. <laughs> Especially when he's pointing it at you. That's the only thing that sucker is thinking about. You can waste yeah. his ass before he knows he's even been hit. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, It's it. not like you see on TV, people, where you stand 40 yards apart and, and you know, the sun's in the other guy's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, all that TV shit that they, they they raise us with is a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, and fighters don't That's stand out in the That's fucking shit middle. Don't happen of now. Yeah. Never happened. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. stand in the middle of the street and wait. Fuck that! I'm hiding behind a barrel. Hold child, get it over with. A uh-huh. couple of small children. <laughs> anyway. What have we got in store? We developed an echo tonight. I don't know. I it's fixed it. Should be gone now. Okay, good. Yeah. But, 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 uh, I was, but, what, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm what's back. new so on what's the call for us? Yeah. We got so a that, Monday report or a fishing oh, report yeah. or a report uh, report? I went fishing. Uh, still got, uh, Let's see, one, two, three, four. Still got three more fish to catch before my fishing buddy can go again. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Uh, and uh, they they were little. I've been catching little fish here lately. I don't know why. I just hadn't got into any of the, of the big ones. They must all be hiding from me. Anyway... <laughs> That's about all there is on the fishing. For, oh, I no, it's not. I'm fishing a tournament this evening, yeah. and uh, in a couple of hours, uh, just as soon as we get off, I'm running, and uh, it's at a little bitty lake that's got like 36 miles of shoreline. It's not a very big lake, uh, and it's a private community where my brother lives. So it'll be fun. I'll get to go out and, and fish with him. Uh, he's got a, a really nice bass boat, and that's a good lake to use one of those on. There so you go. It'll be a good, comfortable evening. Sounds like fun. Yeah, and I might even catch a fish. That's the bonus. Bonus. Not the bonus. Not the boner, the bonus. Oh, Okay. If the other fish. bone. Ah. Well, I don't fish, so I don't. I don't think about the other shit. <laughs> well, I do all my fishing at the end of the bar. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Ralph wants to know what lure you recommend. Mm. I recommend the DNL spinner bait. That stands for Dave and Larry, and I'm the Larry of that. We reinvented the buzz bait. Took the big buzz bait blades off of it. Put a uh, a propeller like blade on it and a few beads, and then a ball bearing snap swivel on mm-hmm. the end that holds the blade, so you can change the blades. Uh-huh. And the longer shank of the spinner bait makes it where it comes through the brush better than a normal spinner bait. So, do you know where the best way to go? Do you know spinner bait? But also, I've been catching them on a square bill a whole bunch. Uh, I think that's why I'm catching the little ones. I I have a hard time pulling myself off of the shoreline. I like mm. to throw it at brush piles and things like that <laughs> that are right on the edge of the water. And this hot summer, they're not right at the edge of the water. They're, they're in the shade somewhere. Uh-huh. So, oh, maybe the temperature's... Yeah, they're, they're, they're down deep for it's cool. Oh, well, if you know that, then it should be easy to find them. Well, yeah, but it's so pretty around the edge, and I get to see all the critters and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, not just uh, about the fishing, yeah. You filthy hippie, you. Yeah, you damn I know. Animal life. But it, I, the places that I've caught fish before, I've been fishing this lake since it came in, since they built it. Wow. And... It, 
I know where I've caught fish, and I like that part of the lake, and I just get drawn to it. There's a, uh, there's a part, the, the lake goes into, or a creek comes into the lake, and you can go probably a mile, mile and a half up that creek before you get to a dead end, which is the county road. And I just love going back up in there. The trees are arched over the creek. It's about 20, uh, 25 foot like wide. in a cave, yeah. Yeah, and I just love it. And critters, the, the beaver you get a up there. And, you, and take video and start a YouTube channel. Oh, I, I've got lots and lots of still pictures of it. I love that up there. There you go. I, I use them for screensavers. Uh, <laughs> there you but, go. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just a, a... I like that lake. I like being in a small boat on a small body of water. Yeah. Uh, the lake I fish is probably 200 acres at most. So it's a little lake, little bitty lake. It's a conservation lake. Yeah. But it used to it used to have a 20-inch limit, and 20-inch bass is five pounds or better. Yeah. So, you know, those were, those were the good old days. Uh, now it's got a slot limit. It's under 12 you can keep, and over 15 you can keep. So yeah. that means that we we can always catch keepers, <laughs> right? <laughs> no matter how little they are. Have those people that do all the licensing and and all that uh, yeah. keeping track of fishing people? Has that ever worked out in your benefit, or is oh, it just an inconvenience? Oh. Uh, that's why we have this lake, this particular lake that I fish in, because of the conservation department. Uh, they help out to to keep our uh, quail and turkey and deer population up by planting uh, food crops for the critters. Mm. Uh, they do a lot of good. Uh, the lake that I go to uh, is a rearing lake. They they have they grow fish there. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a hatchery, a fish hatchery. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, I've heard so many horror stories. This is kind of a change. Oh no! The I'm all for the conservation department. Uh, uh, they're the ones that license you to fish, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, I, I don't do this, so I'm this is all new to me. Well, it it costs twelve dollars a year. Okay. That's it. That's it. Twelve dollars okay. for a whole year, and that money goes to pay the the wildlife people, the guys that are there that keep the place up. Uh, it goes to manage the fisheries, the conservation department. If you want to build a pond on your on your property, they will come out and help you design it, help you find the best spot for it, and also. They have fish to stock it with, so they do. They do a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. Yeah, I was thinking, how do they manage to do all that without selling something? <laughs> well, it, and not on that, you can get the conservation magazine for free. All you got to do is tell them where you live. Well, there must be advertising or some way to finance something. It doesn't uh, sound like the government I'm familiar with. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait a I'm, minute. We're going to take your money and buy you shit. I, I think the conservation department is funded by the government. And just this little bit. Well, there's also a license for hunting, and that's another twelve fifty, and And the license for deer season and a license for turkey season. and Oh, yeah, it, yeah. Okay, each season. Yeah. But not yeah. for the fish, right? The not fish for the fish. Yearly. No, okay. fish license is, is a year for wherever. And we don't have salt water anywhere close, so you don't get a salt water and a fresh water license. Oh, I didn't even they, think of that. Yeah, they do that in a lot of places, but wow. we don't have that. Well, well, you seem pretty comfortable where you are. Oh, absolutely. For all it's worth. You know, the, I've been reading a lot of terrible things on the Internet for years. A lot of countries oh. are not having a good time right now. I mean, entire populations, like Peru. 
I'm just thrilled to death with what's going on right now. Uh, other than the mass garbage, I go where I want, when I want, and that's the way I've always lived. I, I'm not an anarchist, no, and I don't hurt people unless they deserve it. Uh, and just, I don't, I, I give you back the attitude that you give me. <laughs> yeah, and I vouch want, for that. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to, if you want to be belligerent, then by golly, I can be belligerent. Serve them up. Yeah, bring a baseball bat. You want to be good it. folks, and I can be <laughs> good folks too. Ooh. I like that part, but I'm just amazed that anybody could tell a government story <laughs> that doesn't have a terrible ending to it. Oh no, the conservation department is. They do a really good job here in this state. We've got excellent populations of deer and turkey, and all of our lakes are good to fish in. Uh, I've, I've been in one lake, a conservation lake, that wasn't worth a hoot, and that was because it had gone through an extreme drought and was only about three foot deep, and the fish died off. So yeah. it wasn't their fault. Um, right. Um, I just like it. Any news on the coral front? Uh, yeah, quite a bit actually. Um, we're 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 through for the time being, and until we come up with other applications. But we've we've handled all the applications for our. Uh, our switching coil now. Uh -huh. We've handled all the single phase applications now, and now we're working with two coils interacting with one another. We're, we're marrying two different styles of coil, the switching coil and the power coil. Right. Uh, and that's to boost either the amperage or the voltage. Okay. So we've, we've got the designs uh, for those circuits already, and we've got uh, we've got the new light pole design that follows the Fibonacci sequence. As a matter of fact, uh, oh. with two poles on opposite sides of a of a light, or two lights on opposite sides of a pole, uh, and it actually looks pretty nice. It it begins the spiral. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Our our design guy did that. Um, right. I, de I designed the fixtures and he designed the way they should go. Okay. Pretty cool. That sounds interesting. And we we got an on off waiting circuit now, which is the beginning of logic. Uh, computer logic. So we're working on that part. And they turn this whole thing into a giant computer that runs itself. Okay. Wow. But the the concept is there, and with enough circuits, you can do it. Yeah. And we we've, we've been we've been working in the 144 range here lately. Uh, just trying to figure out what it all can do and we got plasma mining down to a, a simple connection of, of coils and those connections are already done. Oh nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, this <laughs> these things suck and we're using that part a bunch. Uh, they they draw energy from the earth as they're operating. Okay. And it's just, we're learning a whole bunch of things by using the neutral instead of the hot. Yeah. We're leaving everything hot all the time and just switching that neutral on and off. And that's getting us a long way. Uh, 
but just new new things that we're learning as we're as we're designing the circuits and as we're trying them out on the coils. Right. Uh, uh, Still on words from the project people. Uh, no, no. Uh, one of our guys was talking to him the other day, but they were just getting the paperwork worked out. What happens first and. They haven't figured out what island we're going to go to yet. Yeah. It'll be it'll be some little island with a couple of thousand people on it, and we'll just power that island up. Yeah. Yeah. Just give them juice. That'll be neat. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be kind of fun. No doubt. Well, is there any good word with the government relaxing any of this uh, travel bullshit I, I restrictions heard, and such? I haven't heard anything about the travel restrictions being reduced. Uh, it It's just everybody just being fucking stupid. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself, and I've tried. Yeah, but that's all I come up with. Yeah, Boy, I'm sorry, fucking sorry for the language, but golly gee, whiz. Please. Holy that's shit, the point, shit Larry. Batman. I mean, well, I mean, it's one thing to be five years old and amazed by, hey, that knife was white a minute ago. Now it's black. But, you know, you grow up and you learn about sleight of hand. Yeah. But what's going on right in front of me is, oh, man, I'm embarrassed for people. I think. I seen a little kid uh, on the way to the grocery the other day, 11, 12 years old, sitting on, on her cell phone with a mask on all by herself on yeah. on a where there's nobody. There was nobody around. I, it was me walking by her. There was nobody for maybe a 200 yards. Mm-hmm. And your yeah. air is not polluted that bad. No, no, no. What what it is is they've. That society here is turning this into a look at how wonderful I am. I'm wearing a mask thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's become a and, fad. Well, and kids are impressionable, and, you know, they want to please the grown-ups. Now they're going to get both stories, like always. But, fuck. Yeah. There must be a drag to be a kid right now. I mean, crying out loud, look at the adults. Trump or Biden, it must be a drag to be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> must be a drag to be in politics. So are you going to have any trouble saying POTUS creepy, Joe? Or are you good with that? Me? Whoever. I don't was believe a... he's going to make it. Yeah, I know <laughs> okay, whoever he said about Trump. <laughs> well, no, no, I, I don't think he's going to. Okay, this is what's going to happen. If he gets elected, that'll be a wonderful thing for him for about a day. And then they're going to they're going to pull 25 on him and say, you are not fit to be president. Yeah, you fucking mind. <laughs> and whoever he's got as his running mate will then choose her vice president, so this gal that he's got, uh, Harris, is that her name? Camilla Harris? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, Change your mouth. She'll say, okay, Michelle, come on in here, buddy, oh. Michael, oh. And, and we'll just take over this country again. Oh. Well, they didn't ever lost any control of it. It's been a fucking mess for, what, 60, 80 years? It's all yeah, a long time. Yeah. I mean, the last 80, though, I mean, fuck. Since what, from the history we can we can account for. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. something else. Pay attention to history. This is what Hitler did to Germany. Wake up, folks. Yeah, it's like a playbook. Yeah. And then if you say any, and just the same rules apply, if you talk bad about the, the system, then the, the drones that want the system come out and slap on you. Yeah. They call them Karens now or something. Karen? Yeah, Karens. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I remember when women used to make brownies and have sex. And yeah. Now they're just a bunch of fucking men with bad attitudes. <laughs> yep. Holy fuck. I mean, I can understand why Hans doesn't want a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't care how crazy the surf know. gets. I'm still yeah. not going to go with the dog food. Sorry. <laughs> but um, Well, you know, a German Shepherd and a jug of peanut butter will take you places you didn't know you wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. We're uh, <laughs> we're on a talk show. <laughs> that's what we should all not soon forget. Oh, oh well. Uh, well, uh, life is just chock full of surprises anyway. Absolutely. Camilla, that but that Camilla Harris woman's making waves that hit over here with her uh, communist. Basically, it's communist rhetoric. Yeah, yeah. I, I read yeah. that. The riots aren't going to stop, no matter if Trump's in the White House or not. They're going to continue after we take over. It. What? What the fuck? How? Did yeah. Well, did uh, I miss another yeah. meeting, Rob? What happened? Uh, yeah, we missed something. Because when I was young, you talk like that, you end up in fucking court, jail, somebody shoot you. And this woman is just running around talking all this shit like, you know, yeah. Isn't, isn't that inciting a riot? It, it would be if I said it. Yeah. Holy. If I said that kind of shit, they'd probably look for laws for me to be breaking. Yeah. Creating yeah. new laws. Hey, look, he broke another one. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. But here we sit. Well, I'm very upset. My My fear of compliance is just raging. I will not comply. I'm sorry. Be like me or die. I'm ready to die. Come get me. Yeah, but you keep coming around. See, that's what I mean. It's, it's the people that, that are, are brainwashed into thinking they're going to live forever. Mm -hmm. That They're the ones that are fucked up like that. The rest of us that know, hey, it could end in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Enjoy what you got. Yeah, life's too short Damn. for the bullshit. Yeah. Ah, but some of the... It's kind of fun. I, I got a sick sense of humor. Be happy about who you are, and if you're not ha happy about who you are, change it. It's your fault who you are. Yeah, John Hopkins, right? Johns Hopkins changes... Yeah, they'll change you in anything you want to be. <laughs> yeah. Except a success. Just a little <laughs> pin. Well, you, you won't be successful, but if you want to have nipples, believe me, they'll give them to you. <laughs> and boobs to match. Right. I wouldn't mind having a pair of boobies to play with once in a while. I'm, thinking, mind. Of, I'm thinking of going back to school and becoming a doctor. Well, you know, I could just do that in my basement. I don't think I need to go to school, but... <laughs> Come on, some of these doctors are out there, man, wear masks. Oh, like yeah. Idiots. Isn't that like... If if I did that to my kid when I was raising children, I would have been hauled into freaking jail for abusing the kid. Yeah. I could see it. I, I just know that's a... What are you doing? Blah, blah. You can't breathe like... And here we are. 2020. Yeah. Everybody's brilliant and shit now, right? Yeah. Fuck. Well, I'm not impressed. I want my money back. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. I got a refund coming here some fucking where... No, I, do, I don't. I'm just joking. I don't. I don't do the tax thing. <sighs> Must yeah. be a tax evader. Well, they got a requirement for you to pay taxes. You know what that is? What? Mm. Work. If yeah. you don't work, how are you going to pay your taxes? There you, there go. you go. So never work. You know, no income, no tax. Ah, see how wonderful that, and it's brilliant too. Okay, well, yeah, I'm running out of stories here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a slow it's day. Got really. off, got got a whole lot going on. Well, uh, yeah, it's just the reruns that are that are taking place. It's been eight, eight, ten months now. What's it been? February, I guess, really took off. Yeah. Uh, but, fuck, man. I mean, Germany's on fire next door to us. And they're marching, and they want their rats, and this, that, and that. And they're, they're, getting, they're just going to get fucked with. It, this is ridiculous. There's no, there's no argument, and the people that are in power of these decisions will not debate it, <laughs> like climate change. Yeah, yeah. 
well, how is this possibly okay for these people? I'm very upset. <sighs> They're making my tumor bleed. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. just saying, I mean, I grew up one way, and then all of a sudden, in a matter of less than a year, the entire fucking world population is ignorant. Yeah. Call yeah. me ignorant. Yeah, but yeah, they're the ones that are losing it. Well, maybe there's nothing to lose. I don't know. The game doesn't make sense at this point, does it? No. What in the fuck are they trying to accomplish? It's all spectrum dominance. Well, they got that. I mean, shit, they got the guns. They'll kill you if you don't listen. Yeah. They shoot you if you make them scared. I mean, come on, this game is rigged. We are so rigged. rigged. Yeah. I think it's rigged. You think it's rigged? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's a 66% chance this game is rigged. I go away. Well, we only heard two, two opinions. I go for 100. <laughs> Yeah. Well, when I grew up, I'm sure as hell not living in America. I'll tell you that. My wife won't let me go. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, she used to think that Joe Biden was uh, interesting. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, she was just, fuck, she knows how to push my buttons. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden's interesting, and if I ever want to go home, she'd love to go to Delaware. But nowhere else. <laughs> All right. I said, wow, why don't you just put a bullet in my head and call me Sally? <laughs> Delaware and Joe Biden. Well, she got over all that. But she thought it was funny until they started running him for president. <laughs> now she's kind of she's kind of backed off the sarcastic thing. <laughs> wait a minute. It's all coming true. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> It, I, it was one thing when they got, well, hey, you're never going to believe who's running for the White House. Who? Trump? What? Trump? He's no politician. No, but who knows how to service the Jew cock like the Trump man? i seen him kissing the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does this shit fool people really? Come on. Are you kidding Some me? Some people it does. They, they believe that if you bow to a wall or suck on it or whatever weird shit they do that makes you special. Mm -hmm. I better get a check into this being a Jew thing. It looks like it's my win. <laughs> buy your way into heaven. <laughs> no, it's buy my way into life on earth now. Yeah. Because you, you know what's in store for us It's like now. being a Mason, yeah. Well, the, yeah, the electronic finance world is coming. You're not even going to be able to use currency because nobody will be bothered with it. It costs too much to support it. Yeah, we can't make change. Well, what what transportation costs, making coins, making paper, blah, blah, blah. Hey, instead of, hey, look at this, click. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they've got most people under 30 over here. Are just they're, they're clueless about uh, having to do anything because it's all instant. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's my observation anyway. But not not every I shouldn't everybody that, but the majority the majority of people I've encountered here under under thirty. Yeah. And then there's the few that well, they don't be lost without a phone. Huh? They don't oh, be lost yeah. without a phone. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know, even when people when they when they're talking to you and their phone rings, have you ever noticed that face they make? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. Be just me. I don't. I'm well, not around I, enough people I, to, to <laughs> have that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just being aware of that when I'm in public and somebody's phone rings. There's this dramatic quirk to their face momentarily yeah. as they walk off to go answer the fucking phone. <laughs> yeah. Just say no to thugs. It's not that hard. <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, but it's, it must it must be a talent. I don't know. You're living rough, right? No phone, stuff like that. Or do you got a phone? Me, I have a huh? phone. Whoever, I don't know. 
We just now recently got a smartphone. Oh, no! What happened? Uh, we use it to operate our security system. Oh, yeah. See, now you see all these traps. This is what I mean yeah. This is yeah. our society. You can't get a security wow. system, or at least not one of these camera systems. That right. you got to have a freaking phone to operate the damn thing. Well, see, that's the whole point of where society is truly going. Yeah. And they're calling it peaceful protesting, all kinds of names. They want everybody wired in, man. Yeah. Hard kind of Well, it was nice knowing you guys. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I figured, fuck it, whatever. Right, exactly. I'm not... See, I'm not for it, Rob. It's not. I don't mock the people that are forced to fucking use it. I'm married to one. Exactly. I understand the fucking problem, but if I lose track of you know how I understand it, start becoming like her, then I'm not me anymore. <laughs> so, you guys are going to yeah. have to just take a little shit because you want to eat on a regular basis and not uh, be in a camp somewhere held by the government. Yeah, that's so, a, you don't think that shit's yeah. going to happen. What's the last year been all about? You know, give all the power to the FEMA camps. Uh, yeah. Grab the mic a little closer there, will you, Larry? Oh, I have trouble hearing you. You're in a pandemic. Let's go to the FEMA camps. We'll test you and make you better. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah really pass. <laughs> But see, like you say, though, reading, if you read a little bit of this stuff that they're telling you, you find out that what they're telling you isn't possible. Yep. Well, what maybe that's the problem right there is that it shatters people's, some, I don't know, something. Well, with they today's can't. education system, nobody can read anyway. Man. Oh, come on. That's just a little exaggeration, right? Uh, not much. <laughs> Okay, well, I thought that was just a little overblown story they were using. Uh, I know a gal in their thirties that can't tell you what time it is unless there's numbers on the clock. Wow! <laughs> oh, you know how I learned how to tell time? Ah, ah! Yeah. You're gonna like this one. Back in in the early 1960s, they had those rotary clocks where they had the digits on them. Oh, yeah, yeah, laugh, they, 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 over. they flip. Okay, but, yeah, but I learned on that before I could learn the the five, you know, five minute clock. What do you call yeah. it? I don't even know what to call it. Analog. The Analog. traditional clock. But I mean, I broke in on in a on a real old version of a digital clock. Cool. <laughs> right, but still, he told me you're going to learn the other one too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Hmm. Well, it's, it's just hard. hard, to, hard. <laughs> it's hard to grasp that society is where it is. Yeah, and just it's only been a few years since I was in America, Rob, and it sounds like a foreign fucking country now. This used to be number one, and uh, at least in the top three, in math and science, lots of the the important things, mm-hmm. and now we've in my. Maybe in the top 20? Yeah, maybe. we're like 26 or something. Yeah. Wow. That's so, not very good. Yeah. And There's it, only like, how many industrialized countries are there, though? You know, out of all the countries there are, some of them don't have public education and <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. Some people grew up in the bed of dirt they're born on. Twenty seven puts you pretty much at the bottom of the list of all the big major company, uh, countries. No. Yeah. Damn. Well, even England? <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's I've been weird. reading horror stories about England lately. Don't want to be in England. Wow. I don't know. I'm just glad I don't have to pick anywhere because if I had to choose a place to live, I wouldn't want to live anywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Maybe I would. Okay. Well, maybe not. It's, it's possible. Yeah. What are you reading, Rob? 
Oh, I'm looking at uh, on a mission. Uh, education rates. To how to find out how far down we are. Yeah. Might break your heart. Ouch. Yeah, it breaks mine. Well, you know, in all those years of, oh, how important an education is and all that kind of crap yeah. that we all grew up with, and it turns out to just be a bunch of nonsense. Well, I got a, a decent education, but it wasn't what it was cracked up to be, and it wasn't complete. They they just tell you enough to do the job. They don't tell you all there is to know about it. And that had me thinking I knew everything there was for lots of years. Well, U.S. News is saying U.S. is number one in education. Yeah, look at how wonderful everybody's doing right now. Yeah. You know, and then I keep reading about this election coming up in a couple of months. Then I also keep reading that you have riots every day in America. So, wait a minute. You can't have both. You can't have a civil society and an uncivil society both at the same time. What's going on? Call the two-party system. Oh, yeah. So they really have split this thing up to the point of if you're a violent asshole out there destroying shit, you're a Democrat. Yeah. If you're a violent asshole out there shooting people, you're a Republican. A little bit of both, though. Uh, I don't know. I, what I read about the Republican, he he was like 17 in somebody else's town walking down the street with a gun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good thing to do. Wow. It's a wonder he didn't get killed. Yeah, absolutely. So, and, and, of course, now these fucking idiots in the press are going to make a big deal out of that. Like, it matters somehow. Yep. And encourage it. you got two more months, so they got to do something to keep Trump in power. <laughs> it, it's not Democrats or Republicans. No, they got to keep the facade up, though, Larry, oh, or yeah. people are going to... If, can you imagine if a voter woke up and understood about government what we understand about government? Their head would explode. Yeah. They probably shit theirself. Oh, my life is over. Then they not and and become a victim of the corona because the weakness would hit, hit them. <laughs> yep. it, it, it's crazy folks. It ain't it ain't Democrats or Republicans. It's no, people no, no. with no moral values. It's crazy people. It's people that are getting paid to do something that they know is wrong. Uh, never yeah. mind. I agree with that line of it too. Why would why would there be buses? I saw a picture of buses. What was it? BLM buses in Florida, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you got to be organized to the nipples to you know to have that kind of backup to do. Hell what you're yeah. And it's not a, a twenty minute thing. This thing has been in the, in the making for years. Yeah. You know, you've got bus designs for paint jobs and shit that. Yeah, wow. Two yeah. years before you can set foot in your first fire, these things have to be accomplished. <laughs> yeah. So keep people ignorant enough to not know everything is an instant, and this is what we get. Yeah. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm telling you, man. Ugh. Yeah. But it's, it's not just in America, it's worldwide. Yeah. I don't know where. See, I don't speak any other languages besides English. No. So it makes it my... Uh, and I'm lazy as fuck. I ain't translating every fucking other language into English. Nah, this doesn't translate properly, first off. But on the other hand, I talk to sensible people like yourselves, right? In America. And I get one story. And then I see the internet and I get a whole other story. Well, that's because yeah. we don't know what we're talking about. Well, yeah, it's all a matter of perspective. We only have a view of what we see. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So like around here, I mean, picture. other than the mass, you wouldn't know really anything was going on. Yeah, exactly like where I live. The world could blow up. I wouldn't know it unless it's really good. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing... Here. 
the only thing that's changed is that people are wearing masks because they were told to. Yeah. No no laws or none of that. The cops aren't any nicer to you or No, nothing. nothing's changed. Wow. But mm. but the people that told them are in are in uh positions of power and authority and knowledge supposedly mm. and they're in on the scam. Yeah, they'd have to be. Yeah, Otherwise, they're in yeah. on the scam. They yeah. know it's a lie. Yeah, I saw that Fauci guy at a in a picture of a stadium, looked like with two other people, and he's got his mask around his chin. Yeah. So yeah, that and besides that, on top, the whole fucking thing would be cleared up in, in a couple of sentences if people would think this through. When in the history of the world has a government ever done anything to help its people? Never. Never has. Never going to happen. It's a dream. It's a story. No. People in power want power. They want titles and be able to tell you what you have to do. And until we grow out of this fucking ignorance, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Well, maybe it's you mature out of it somehow. Well, maybe people don't too. So, wow. How do you explain this? Um, I don't. Where maybe we're naturally rebellious, and we, it just so happens that three un, uh, unlikely people gathered at the same exact time with the exact point of view towards a government entity. Then that sound a little kind of wow. That's unusual. <laughs> well, right, but it, it happens a lot. Yeah, because more and more people are figuring it out. Yeah. Well, not the die, not the diehard voters. No, Larry, the, I'm talking. You know, I'm talking about you know, uh, in chat and, and internet more than in personal life. Oh yeah, yeah. The the people that are glued to the internet as a source of entertainment, I would say, some of them really seem to believe this hoax is real. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they believe what they're told on the television. But they hang out in a liberty-based chat room. Mm-hmm. Why? They're that doesn't trolling. make any sense. Am, am I missing something, Rob? Oh, you're uh, bubbling. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm... I'll stall for you. <laughs> no, I'm good. Well, I figured it might uh, be a topic you're familiar with, because... Yeah, I, I don't get it. I've asked them several times why you're here. Yeah, what do they say? They never answer. Oh, okay. Because hell, half the half of that I don't even can't even bother to read it anymore. Yeah. Well, but I've got it's I've got half of them on invisible. Exactly, but stuff. it's it's part of life that they do exist and they have a right to their ridiculous opinions. Absolutely. Yeah. See? I'm not okay. telling them not to talk to other people about their stupid shit. I'm telling them I don't want to hear your stupid shit because I'm stupid. offended by them and they don't go away. <laughs> Duh. Right. But, yeah. well, I, is that a Democrat thing now? or Oh, man, I'm so confused. I yeah. Mean, politics. It's a political thing. Okay, yeah. so the Democrats are the... The good guys and the Republicans are the bad guys, right? No. 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 They all fight the other way around. They all suck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm both <laughs> <both sides are laughs> of the same coin. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, the but same they're listening. They're, they're listening to us. <laughs> but, but they're all controlled. The right and left wings of the vulture called people. government. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Little... Five people tell eight, 85 people what to do. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Can't you think for yourself? This is my... Th I, well, you are you just don't like to follow rules. Well, okay. What rules am I not following here? I'm verbally opposed to covering my face when I'm outside walking. Hmm. There's my big crime, Rob. Where do you think think I'll get life? A uh, hundred lashes, and uh, and uh, you have to spend a 
a weekend with Hans. Ooh, hey, that would be life changing. And then we're gonna. <laughs> that would be my first murder. <laughs> I never committed murder in my life, but I think I would begin. I would start to. Somebody that is that ignorant would just. I'd be doing the world a favor. That's my opinion. So, let's leave it in drama land. <laughs> <laughs> well, all this all this madness over the last less than a year is really pissing me off, Larry. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I see the world the way you see the world, in a sense. It's, it's a nice thing. It's wonderful and all that. And then you got these idiots that want to tell you what to do all the time and fuck it up. No. Yeah. Don't mess with me. I won't mess with you. Don't turn none of my shit up. I won't turn none of your shit up. Leave me alone. Well, yeah, it is all senseless. I mean, there wasn't even a demand to it. It was just, hey, look, we're going to set this on fire. Why? Hmm. Because we feel like it. Yeah. Huh? Because because it's a black business in a black neighborhood for Black Lives Matter. That is so stupid. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you'll never see the Jews doing this shit. They, they, they Hell no, they want to keep the property values up. Yeah, they just take over your fucking country and tell you to leave. And you, yeah. will, you will leave, too, eventually. Yeah. I, well, all these years have been m making jokes about welcome to Palestine and hell, fuck. Okay, not everybody's in that situation yet. I haven't hit that situation yet. It's not, not likely I'm going to it the way you know, we live here. But if these globalist fucks and these uh, EU assholes, if they join forces, they could shut us down real quick because they got a lot of support from the ignorant. Well, that yeah. that didn't raise an eyebrow, but I we think people that are afraid to die, religious-based life is ignorance. That's how they keep you scared and... Oh, the afterlife and all this Jesus nonsense and whatever. You're talking to a doorknob. Whatever your thing is. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I, did, if I said I was going to do that stuff, people would probably try to lock me up. One great space alien created it all. What's his name? Who knows? Jose. Oh, man. I was hey, hoping it was Steve. <laughs> you know, he's oriental. Hey, it could be. It could be a group F. You know, it really ticks me off the most about all this government, country shit. These what? fucking lying hypocrites in government and religion and education that keep us all pitted against each other on these stupid bullshit stories while they sit around and, and eat the good food and drink the good alcohol and get fucked up and laugh yeah. at us. And I don't know if, if I had an opportunity to sit at that table. I don't know if I'd take it or not. I might have the nut to go, fuck you and your steak. <laughs> yeah. Tempting as it may be. Well, wouldn't you like to sit in a seat of, of superiority, Rob, Larry, and be important and have people fear your name because you could shoot them? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Actually, no. Oh, well, then don't run for president. Don, you know what I can I wouldn't like to be president. <laughs> well, you know what I got out of the last couple of days of the Kenosha thing? Trump went there, right? Yeah. yeah. For a for a fucking photo op in the rubble of a devastated Democrat city. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, right. Nobody's thinking through this entire thing. Everybody's just being uh, emotional, and they're all reacting with their girly bits or what. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you point, know, and I get myself fingers. in a lot of trouble when I do that. And pointing well, fingers. Wow. They're all well, pointing fingers at each other. Yep. So what, what did you, okay, what was your take on what you saw regarding the Trump going to Kenosha thing? I mean... It just I, seems like a lot of shit to me, but yeah, well, he's he's the even next president. Oh, okay, yeah. what does that got to do with him becoming all this voting shit's a bunch of nonsense too. 
the electoral college is going to pick who they pick. Yeah. Probably according to the bankers that tell them who to choose. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. where does this election crap come in? It, it's just to make the people think that they've got a say in what's going on. Yeah. That's it. It's the illusion of choice. Yeah. You but it's saying what? What in the fuck do they know about the decisions that are being made in their on their behalf? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Every uh, once yeah, in a while... We don't, we don't get a direct say in anything. <laughs> no, not at all. Every once in a while, they'll say, we're going to pass a law, and it's going to concern water purity. Well, in that law that they passed concerning the water purity has got another thousand things in it that's all detrimental. Like, gonna give gonna give somebody a, a grant for a bunch of money to study the sex life of an Arctic earthworm. Just stupid shit. Getting yeah. fluff. Yeah. It, it all gets <laughs> thrown into the bill. Pork now. I'm all for one vote, one rule. Yeah. Right. I I understand what you're for, and I, I know you well enough over the years talking to you, Larry. It's just, we got this reality shit we have to deal with. And and I'm thinking, if we don't really take this fucking seriously and do it soon, we're running out of time. And it ain't about the POTUS, and ain't about, I'm not talking about that shit. This masking crap, this corona hoax. Yeah. They they convinced people with, with bullshit stories about how you get a virus. Point one percent death rate. Come on. Yeah, folks. on top of it. Who is worse than that? Yeah. Are, everything's worse than that. Yeah. <laughs> Tripping over curves is worse than that. <laughs> really? I wonder how many cheating spouses got murdered in the last ten months that nobody gave two fucks about because, well, well, I guess they wrote it up as Corona and just looked the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. But the virus got them. Nothing, I mean, nothing is reported anywhere. I, I look on the Internet for shit. I can't really find anything anymore. There's no new information. Well, Everything you is being... Uh, you, you, can't you, can't your spouse these days. you can't cheat on your spouse these days because you can't get out of the house. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can't. <laughs> but hey, wait a minute. That's not a good thing to think about. No. No, we've got the freedom to come and go here still. Good. But they they yeah. started their shit with the mask on the on the uh, trains. Now it started out. It was supposed to be at peak time. You know where? What do you call it? Uh, when everybody's going somewhere. What do you call that? Rush right. hour, right? Yeah. Now it's like I. When I go to the grocery in the afternoon, I see people with masks on at the train in the daytime. I thought it was, you know, I thought they told me anyway it was uh, voluntary. Hmm. Da, 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 da. So, well, if it is indeed voluntary, which it is, <laughs> these people are volunteering. Yeah. Bye. And here I am with my American accent. What am I going to fucking do about it? Just by touch there. Oh, it's worse, Rob. It's way worse. Mm. I'm so helpless. Oh, I feel like a little child. Well, no, all I can do is either conform to it and stay out of trouble and not get my wife upset or be me. <laughs> <laughs> That usually doesn't work out too well for anyone. <laughs> but, so I've got uh, a major the mind pro you know mind thing going on with this uh, hoax. Yeah, and I can see I, I can see a lot of people do not understand that this is indeed a hoax. Uh, it's a <laughs> yeah. they, it's they don't get it. Uh, a hoax is a, is has a connotation of being a joke. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, no, it's... Uh, it's more of a... It's a psyop. Well... And it's psychological warfare is what it is. But how did they get every fucking buddy except five countries in on this one? This, 
I don't get that part. Fear. Uh, yeah, fear. Okay. The World, World Health, Health Organization. Fear. The United yeah. Nations. If you lie to somebody over and over with the same lie, pretty soon they'll believe it. And uh, that's yeah, what they've done to the public. Well, like over Rob was saying, or, this is what the Nazis did. This is yeah. how they accomplished their goal was the exact shit that we're seeing happen right now or going yeah. through. Yeah. Blame what you're doing on your opponent. Ooh. Uh, Read the art of war. I can do that. Uh, well, and I'm not real big in conflict. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I only war, argue you have a conflict. Nah, I only argue with my wife and Hansel. So, hmm. well, you can't win with your wife. Why don't you give that up? Oh, we we have our semi annual or annual disagreement every okay. year. Okay. Just to to get it out of the way, so we you know. Oh, now that's over. With. Yeah, you gotta you gotta. Good. People that don't disagree about something and blow off a little steam are kind of full of shit. <laughs> oh, and I'm looking at the chat and go back and Grimner says, three people agreeing on anything is very unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> and and here we sit, right? And you can count the things we disagree on on one hand if you really wanted to look for it, but we we don't seem to. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure there's no agree on earth shattering enough to worry about. Yeah, it, it would be like personality quirks and shit, traits and crap yeah. like that. We're, yeah. we're, not, we're not doing that on this COIL program. No, no, no. We're we're hitting the big shit. All the big topics, not the little topics. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of big yeah, topics. the pipe, too. Um, I, okay, what? Well, uh, Lou, you got this project coming, coming up, and um, hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, you know, if that doesn't work out, or even if it does, uh, you're still going to want to go to other places. Oh yeah, and do do the same things. Yeah, and I had come up with that. Well, I have this thing about Acapulco. And uh, I know one thing, Mexico is not real stringent on their codes as far as uh, if you've ever been across the border um, and seen what their electric grid looks like. Yeah, uh, I've, it's, I've, I've been there and seen that and I've been to Indonesia and seen theirs and I've been to South Korea and seen theirs. Yeah, and, and they are at least fifty years behind us. Yeah, it's not and they look like a cluster. <laughs> yeah, I um, mean it's it's a it's scary. Yeah, it's a bowl of noodles, man. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> when I was in South Korea, I was in a, a generating station, and they had open bus bars running across the floor. And then go to the wall, then go up the wall, and across the the ceiling around the top of the room. And they hook their transformers. If the wire out of the transformer goes up to that bus bar and screws into it, and you're done. Huh. And Damn. boy, we hadn't done that here since the twenties. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh, it's so. Uh, well, my point was, is, you know, the, the regulation isn't near as, as stringent as it is here. Yeah, and and they've already set up an LLC that's an independent testing laboratory. Oh, you got that done? Yes, they did. Oh, cool. Yes, they did. So our management team did that. They, they, they had some scheme. I don't have any idea what it is, but, but they've been making a little bit of money. Uh, through some uh, some investment program, I have no idea what it is. I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. But they they got a little money coming in, and they're they're getting a few things set up. Yeah. So we're happy about that. No doubt. Now maybe they'll buy me a new oscilloscope. 
I yeah. put in my yeah. hand the very first time I tried to test with it. Damn. Uh, well, I, I had a low voltage probe on, or uh, a, a low amperage probe actually, and didn't have any idea we'd be coming out with ten times more than I put into it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I said, yeah. Oh, man. See you later. That's all it takes. Yep. Smoke me. Yeah. You know that smoke's magic when you yeah, let it out. The it magic smoke on. out. It, yeah, it quit yeah. working. So, but th- th- yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, like I said, uh, our our guy that draws the mantras. Uh, that's what I call them anyway. The beautiful designs, uh, sacred geometry designs. Yeah. And and he 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 draws uh, Ichi kind of stuff. Ni- no, not Nietzsche. Eschler, excuse me. You familiar with his artwork? No. The guy that had, who made the painting of the stairs that go in all different directions? Oh, okay. Okay, that guy, whatever his name is, I'm having the name wrong. Uh, but that's that's the kind of, of drawings that this guy does just to get us to think in other dimensions. Like, where is that going? Where is that going? If, if you go to uh, Kirchhoff's Law and look at the angular diagram of all the different fields that are created. That's a beautiful diagram and that's what this guy is trying to show. Uh, and he does a really good job with it and he relates it to the sacred geometry and the golden spiral and all of that sort of thing. And he's the one that designed the positioning of the lights on the light pole. Uh, so, cool. Yeah, smart guy. Really, yeah. really talented artist. Yeah, and and he's he's a computer programmer. Uh, that's what he does for a living. But he's a hell of an artist. Cool. Uh, the but yeah, there's, there's lots of other stuff going on too. Uh, they're they're working with a VLDC mo- uh, Excuse me, a brushless DC motor. Uh, that uh, is magnetically driven. Uh, they're trying to improve on a design that came out of an old German dryer. Okay. Uh, a dryer. Uh, and and it's cool because they got a gob of magnets to work with, and and it's a, it's actually a repelling motor. Uh-huh. They're, they're Using the the magnetic field to repel with rather than attract, uh-huh. and and that I don't know for sure, and I don't know how to prove it because I haven't got the right equipment. But I think that a magnet pushes harder away than it attracts. I'm I'm really almost convinced of that. But then again, I've had my finger between two magnets before, and it pulls up a blood blister. <laughs> so I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. Um, I've always been fascinated with that type of thing. And, and the uh, and when you brought up the hallback array, uh, that sounded very interesting uh, on that type of system, motor, magnetic motor, because if you can uh, create a, a stronger... Uh, north or south pole, you. I mean, it seems it would be easy then to create a motor that would that would run. Yeah, and and I was thinking, well, if that does produce power by spinning it around, it's going to be DC. Yeah. Well, you don't even have to move it, then it gives you AC. So why mess with it? You don't need an inverter now. Well, yeah, that's. And and all AC means is that the polarity changes. Yeah. And that's why you wrap one coil, one circuit clockwise, and the one next to it counterclockwise, 
So that the magnetic field travels the same direction, whether it's positive or negative, that is an AC coil. Right. Yeah, so it's generating, but it's generating both pulses at the same time. Yeah, the positive and the negative pulse, and then, and, and then it's just a matter of hooking it up so that the timing is right. And and with it just sitting there, a twelve circuit coil is getting one volt per circuit. That's twelve volts. Yeah, that's that's a battery just sitting there waiting to happen. Yeah, let me do something. No movement at all. And that's because the difference in <coughs> in the strength of the polarities on the on the hallback array that's different. It's a whole lot more of one than the other, at least twice as much. Right. And that that makes that magnet set up a field between itself constantly trying to exchange so it's switching back and forth by itself it's sitting there fighting each other the, the little one wants to stay little and the big one wants to stay big but the little one is sucking out of the big one just as hard yeah. as it can that's why these things suck I think it creates a resonance yeah yeah it does and that's what the resonance the movement of the resonance resonance is what fluctuates yep. and energizes the coil. Yep. And that AC signal is picked up in the the coil because when you move a magnetic field past the conductor, you generate electricity. Yeah. It's just so, doing it in micro movements. Yeah, we just can't see it. And millions so, of times per second. Yeah. Which is super high frequency, and that is wonderful because that gives you more power. Right. I understand the concept. Yeah. I just, I just the guy we got working in uh, the high voltage and high frequency, uh, he's using high voltage. He's using 12 full volts, but he's giving it... Uh, 40.3 kilohertz of frequency and he's producing 1,000 volt spikes out of that with a, with a trumpet signal after that that is the full duration of the off cycle as, and he's got a 1% he's got duty cycle doing this uh, and it is a full volt above uh, the baseline. Hmm. So he's he's getting usable power out of that. So that's pretty interesting because that is a Tesla one wire system using a three circuit pancake coil. Hmm. Now, okay. That's that's a unique a unique circuit that he's got going there. Yes. We, yeah, there there's lots of guys working in different areas on this. Uh, right. Not not just with our coils. Uh, this is this is everything that we can come up with. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the order form to come out. No doubt. Me too. I'm uh, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting to see the airplane ticket. Yeah. That. Yeah. Give me, give me the ticket to come over and, and teach my little course, and we'll see where it goes. Uh-oh. You mean you're, you're like a professor? <laughs> yes, I have a buggy whip. Oh, He's a consultant. <laughs> where there's a whip, there's a way. Hey, I got a question for you, uh, Larry in particular. Not sure if Rob's going to be on this one. But I was watching a link earlier, and they brought up this uh, hormone called G-H-R-E-L-I-N. I think it was ghrelin. I don't know. I'm not sure how they pronounced it. I wasn't. Uh, it passed by kind of fast. 
But they're claiming, this is kind of interesting to me, they were claiming that uh, all this weight gain that people are suffering right now, it's because of it's, it's because of the plastics that we're ingesting. Hmm? Okay. That's very possible. Okay. And it's tied to this particular hormone. So the, it was a pitch, some kind of sales pitch. I lasted a lot longer than I thought I would. It, but they're they're pitching a tea that's grown in Tibet or some fucking place. But the the point of the story was they redefined why people are overweight, and they they blamed it on uh, the plastic is the problem that we're ingesting it. It's in everything, microscopic little bits of plastic. And I thought you might have an opinion about that. And if not, I tried. Well, uh, have you ever tried to get the, the grease off of a piece of plastic? No. It's, it stays forever. It's, it takes a whole lot to get that slimy feel off of it once it's got grease on it. So it attracts grease. It holds Okay, grease. so it's a magnetic bond? Well, that's... It's, it's the same type of an element. It's, bo it's petroleum. And all oh, yeah, it's an oil. Crisco, Crisco is a petroleum product. Everything but lard and butter, you can pretty much figure is a petroleum product. Okay, real lard that's fat rendered out of uh, that's lard rendered out of fat and bacon grease. Yeah, uh, yeah. And so it, they, they have changed. They have changed the way we eat. We got we eat petroleum, to, right? We eat petroleum, right? And because of that, that's the problem with if you, if you're trying to lose weight and you can't do it, they're blaming it on the <laughs> that we've been re, I guess reset. You know, over the years, the generations we've we we uh, what do you call that acclimate. Yeah. to our surroundings. Yeah. I believe it's internal, too. I think you can survive. Well, but if, if that tends to, to grab the grease that you consume, and as Americans, we consume a lot of grease, uh, then that would hold the fatty portion of that grease in your body longer rather than letting you eliminate it. So it's a magnetic wave? <laughs> a magnetic, magnetic bond, you know what I mean? Where yeah. It's a chemical they, bond. But yet, they're, they slip and slide, but you can't separate them. So, yeah. how, what? That's the weirdest explanation I ever heard. I know what it is, but, I mean, in words, it sounds crazy. Well, that's just the way I see it. But it's true? Well, Christ, try cleaning up an oil spill. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bye. You, you found a career. Yeah. It ain't ever going anywhere. But it, when you explain it in the terms like you do with the electric, it sounds so uh, sci-fi to me. Well, if, well, uh, my my knowledge is limited. I'm doing I'm doing the best I can here. So when I think about, wait, how can something be bonded together yet the bond is separate? They they don't. They don't really connect, but you can't separate them either. What? Isn't that what we're talking about? Yeah, the the oil, it, the plastic is made of a petroleum base. Okay. That means that means that the molecules in it are similar to grease, to oil, to to the lard that you that you eat, the bacon grease that you consume, the the beef. The, the, the grease flavoring that you put in stuff. Uh, and that gets on the plastic particles that you're consuming, the little bitty microscopic plastic particles, and it stays there. It collects, yeah. Yeah, it collects. And that's a, a good reason for people not to be able to get fat or thin from being fat. Right, right, right. But, well, but they re they re explain the whole way this works to me on a, a level I'm not prepared for. 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not a book guy. I'm never going to, I'm more of a, bring it up to somebody else that might know and okay. get an opinion and, and use that. We we went as a, as a society from living on farms with big families to living in a city and having to eat prepared food. If we ate fresh out of our garden and the meat that we raised and killed ourselves, then we wouldn't have this problem. No, I, I agree with that. But I don't know of any way to eliminate it from your body once it's already in there. Okay, see, and that's why I was saying I didn't last through the whole link, but I got the idea that they're selling tea that you get in Tibet, blah, blah, blah. But then I... I I've just so got that's what I mean that it, it helps get rid of the plastic. Yeah, does it dissolve the plastic? See, I didn't. That's what I mean. I didn't watch. I'm not going to buy any, so I didn't watch it to the end to see what they were selling. I just watched enough of it to say, "Hmm, molecular bonding. Wow, that's a strange yeah. way to look at this." Yeah. But it, the explanation was just like yours. Your body is not capable of expelling this crap, but. The thing that got my attention more than the tea in Tibet is, why not? What could I do to my body to make it so that I could expel some of this plastic? So I'm on my own here. I'm just talking off the top of my head. Well, you know, I'm, there's I'm an answer out how there. How long it lasts? Uh, if it, if it lasts a hundred years like it does in the dump, then we're stuck with it. But if for some reason our body would dissolve it after a certain period of time, then going back to eating organic would be the would be the solution. Hmm. You would you would then lose weight. Eat things hmm. with wormholes in them. Oh, I wasn't speaking for myself. It was just a. a a story that got my attention because they're claiming 72% of America is overweight. I'll buy that. Go to any uh, Walmart and check. We uh, play Walmart bingo. I haven't been there in years, so... Hmm. Yeah, Cirque's yeah, dream of... Card. Cirque's dream of filming weirdos at Walmart is never going to come to fruition <laughs> in this lifetime. Not with me, in it, anyway. You have to marry somebody else to, uh, you know, enjoy the Walmart experience. Um, or you go for daily entertainment. Uh, I'm living in it. My daily entertainment was adjusted so that I could uh, make the best of my surroundings. Yeah. Instead of all that traveling. And, yeah, I spent a lot of time going from here to there and commuting and all that shit all my life. So now, not having to travel any fucking where unless I walk, <clears throat> that was the, like the benefit. Because I was burnt out on traveling a long time before I quit. Yeah, well, I spent some time on the road and I don't like it. Right, but you have different reasons to travel than I do. I don't have any of those reasons left. I'm not chasing anything. I'm not wanting to go see uh, what's over the hill. I don't have any electrical plans. <laughs> no, and I could do the radio from here, so that's ah, fine. When when I go someplace, I don't go to look at a city or a building or none of that garbage. I want to look at the country. I want to I want to see what people that live on it look like. I want to be part of it. I want to walk through the jungle. Uh, it, yeah, the city does not impress me at all. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it used to impress me, but I, I had my days. I did and enjoy I, I touring old castles and stuff when I was in Germany. Uh, no, I would like to look at a castle or two. I think that would be neat. But I read a story about castles that turned me off of castles. That they're haunted? No, no. <laughs> that the reason that castles did not stand for very long is because they had problems with sewage. Yeah. So they would, 
it was uh, less trouble to move the castle <laughs> than it was to to hire somebody to, to design plumbing. Yeah, and they didn't have any high pressure water hoses. They didn't have well, water treatment. Okay, but look at and here we are in 2020, <clears throat> and the system is still playing off keeping the most of us stupid. Yeah, and it's just like it's easier to just move the castle than it is to teach you fucking idiots how to do the plumbing. Yep. Because then you'll want to do it for yourself. Then what do we do? Well, the problem that we've got now is most people don't want to do it for themselves. They're yeah. too lazy. To They're too lazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's the, for the great culling. They need victims. Larry, that you know, they're going to yeah. have their fair boy. They're going to have a lot and lots of victims, uh, and they're yeah. still going to have the resistance, right? People yeah. like that kid that was shooting people in what Wisconsin. He ain't, he's not going to obey no fucking rules. No. <laughs> he's out there with a fucking gun, crazy. So there's plenty of people that can think for themselves. Whether it's rational, whether it's intelligent or not, isn't the issue. It's that they can. Yeah. And then you got followers. Dick. Yeah. You like followers? Yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't like followers? I thought you wanted to run for mayor of Arkansas or governor or something. Me? You, you could be the next Bill Clinton. Rob got, Clinton. <laughs> you got me in life all fucked up. <laughs> Well, hey, it was. A, I, we're doing a radio show. <laughs> Not everything is funny when, when I say it. Sometimes I think it and I go, "Hey, that's funny." Then I say it and I go, "Wow, that was." That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Don't don't shoot me. I'm just the guy that's doing this on the other thing. It's not my fault. Yeah, oh, I, mean, I would just veto everything. Is are you listening to us? I agree with that line. You hit that one on the head. You know, it's like people like me that want to criticize the government, but I don't want to be any part of that fucking government. I just want to sit in my cubby hole and complain about the government. So am I a stock in the government? Yep. Ah, fuck. Yep. <laughs> yep. You're going to get busted. We're going to send the international crime people over to see you. Oh, damn. Yep. <laughs> Circle make them coffee. <laughs> well, we're going to come over and kidnap you and bring you back to the United States yeah. and and try you in public. Oh, there you go. My crime against humanity. I thought That's to it. myself and said, fuck you, idiots. That's it. I did too, and hey, you had so many feelings. Shit to do. Well, look where it got you—a beautiful wife that loves you and a nice country to live in. And and that it, while the world is on fire, it's the weirdest fucking thing, Larry. I don't believe it's happening. Yeah, and we're we're a stone's throw from Sweden. On top well, does of that, that, mean you want to get your sex change or what? Oh no, that means that Sweden's one of the five countries on Earth. That didn't fall for the pandemic and scam oh, thing, and beautiful. And it's only across the water. Excellent. So if shit ever really went all funky here in Denmark, me and Sir could just go to Sweden. Can you see? Wouldn't it? like it. No, not from here. But uh, there, there's a bridge that goes to it from Copenhagen. That's south of us. Hmm. Oh, it's that close. Oh yeah. Well, it, look at. Uh, Look at a map of Denmark, and Sweden is due east. And there's a lot of... Denmark's a lot of islands put together. It's got one main big body that's connected to Germany, and then all the rest of it is just islands that are close. Uh, uh, do they all have power? I, I would think so, because when I was in Scotland in the 90s, the people were bragging to me that they just got hydro in the 80s. Okay. So I would assume, and Denmark's way more uh, concerned about the population than England was. So, oh. yeah, I would, I would just, I'll check into it, but I would assume. 
I would think but, idle turbines would be wonderful in that. See, this country makes a big fucking deal about uh, alternative sources of energy. Tidal turbines would be the way to go in a, in a bunch of islands, mm -hmm. especially if there are any islands that are really close together, because the rip tides yeah, go in between the islands. Oh yeah, that that's like water down the drain, man. That that'll spin a turbine twice a day enough to generate all the power you'd ever need, and it wouldn't be one turbine; it'd be bunches of them. They could be floating like buoys out in the middle of nowhere, anchored to the to the bottom, of course, between those two islands. Yeah, you know what? That, cause this, yeah, this place is real big on... Um, they're big on things that sound popular. Anybody could do that project. A, a waterproof motor and a propeller, you're done. And, really? And yeah. what kind of investment is in, involved in this? Depends on how much power you want to generate. Well, you're could, the one you I'm could, asking, so you give could, me an example. You could put that, you could put that turbine, the, the thing, the part that turns around, made properly in a spiral form, you could put that on a, a thousand horse motor and anchor it to the fucking bottom of the ocean. Run the lines to wherever you need to run them to to get them out of there. Do that in as many places as you got room for. All right, let, let me ask you for something else then. What would it take to create a, a power source big enough to, to ride a three-wheel bicycle but using the electricity as a source? Because they've got electric bikes here already. They've been Can using you do it with 30 time. amps? See, that's what I'd have to ask. I, I, I don't know, but I'll, let me write that down. I, I would, I would think you could do that with 30 amps. You should be able to, unless you're trying to race. No, yeah. no, just for, you know, <laughs> driving a... Well, what they do is they put their kids in the fucking uh, basket in the front. It's like a wood basket, yeah. blocks. And they got their little helmets on, some of them, and some of them don't. They, the well, rider yeah. rides behind it, but it's got... A, uh, some of them have electric motors. Yeah, they got these things, that they're called golf carts. Yeah, they're already set up on electric motors. They they run on six volt batteries generally. Okay, right. But the 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 design that Larry's going to use is different than what they're already using. But is what I'm getting at. I see. What I'm trying to figure out is how to find somebody that has uh, the health to deal with this. My buddy Carson's having trouble with his leg. He's, he's not getting around too good right now. But there's a bike shop in uh, Freetown. How big's his battery? I don't know. I've not seen how big the battery is. There's a, but there's a bike shop in Free in uh, Freetown, Christiania, and when I was there, it just got my attention. And the people that worked there were real friendly and nice, and they had all these crazy wild designs. They seemed like the kind of people that are more interested in what we're talking about than the ones I'm living amongst. I'm living in a rural countryside. Things are slow, and nobody's trying to get anywhere. But in Freetown, it's a different story. That would take a 4 by 9 inch compartment to hold an 8 inch coil. 4? Okay, and then i got to convert it to centimeters. But a oh, compartment... True. Wait a minute, I'm writing this down. Because uh, talking to people isn't as hard as it, it may appear to be. And a lot of this success of anything is uh, the person listening has to be in good health and capable of getting around. Yeah. Okay, so in a 4 by 9 compartment, you could put what? I didn't get that far yet. Uh, four, 4 inches wide, 9 inches square. Okay. 4 inches thick. Okay. Okay. Uh, what was your question? That'll hold one. How much power? Much power, power, how much power oh, yeah. for a, what? What you're planning to do? How much space does a component take up to power a bicycle?
big enough, enough power for three people to be powered by the uh, power source. That four by nine compartment. Okay, and you're talking about how many amps or what, what was it? 30, 30 amps. 30 amps. Okay, yeah. That's the part I didn't write down. All right. Now, I'm going to assume that if I called up and asked if this exists, I could get a conversation out of an electrician. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, well, you know, I got these sales skills for a fucking reason, Larry. I just well, never, never really cared. This does away with the battery. And well, it, right. it weighs, uh, depending upon the material that the donut is made out of, uh, maybe as much as three pounds. Okay, so if somebody that was over here in Denmark was willing to uh, to pay for their own materials like Rob did, would you be willing to work with them to guide them through the thing to make a battery to operate a bike? And would you would could you do it without giving up all the information that you want to keep personal? Because that would be something I could. Yeah, I I don't I don't think I can do that yet. Ah, okay. Because that would be my goal. Because I'm way far far away over here in Denmark. But these people are conservation crazy. Not let, where I live, but other places in the country. Let and Let's get this. Let's get this project that we're working on, or another project, completed or started. Yeah, I was just thinking this was things in place. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah, well, I already know yes. that damn order for it, man. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. So when I'm in the show, I, I'm listening to something somebody says, and all of a sudden, it clicks. Whatever it yeah. is, and I get this interest wave hits me. Yeah, where I'm usually not. I don't give two fucks what time of day it is. And all of a sudden, hey, I wonder if you can make a bike battery for us. Yeah. <laughs> that's, where I, that's where I am with the marine applications. You know. Oh, and as far as Acapulco. Running boats and Acapulco, yeah. Yeah. The, the Mexican government's claim, uh, or the, at least the press claims that the Mexican government's harsh on on uh, Americans living there, but the Americans that live there say the opposite. Yeah, yeah I mean, don't the propaganda ever. Yeah. Okay, and the time I spent in Mexico, I was there for a solid month hitchhiking, and not even not one cop stopped me. Nobody bought it. Not had no, a that's trip. that's the way. Uh, if you ever listen yeah. to Jeff Berwick, he talks about it. Acapulco being yeah, the yeah. anarchic city. <laughs> <laughs> anarchy yeah, there. I have listened to I mean, and, uh, you know, there was, they, people just do what they want. Like the last video I watched out in there, people running around on four-wheelers and, you know, you know through this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, I've seen his links. And they, yeah, they just, so the, the atmosphere there is a lot more relaxed as far as, and now, and like Larry said, they're probably going to have to grease some palms to get any kind of oh, real, yeah. you know, yeah. serious, legitimate project going. But that's life. You know, you 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 at least you at least have to meet with and get approved by the ministers of of science and commerce and all yeah, energy. Of and you're going to be run through that mill. For a while, yeah. But you got to you got to go through that to get accepted in the country. Yeah. So. Yeah. We just got fortunate with this being part of the government that wants us to do it, and yeah. it's a dictatorship. It's, it's a kingdom. Yeah. So. You are yeah. at the king. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do what you want. Yeah. This, this might turn into something. I sure hope so. Well, well we're trying. Keep we, doing it. Well, oh, Christ. If you just we, keep doing something enough, eventually you're going to do it right. Our our 3D printer guy is making me a 27-inch coil that's got a triple Mobius on it that I will be winding as soon as it gets here. It's coming in 28 parts. Wow. 
a whole gob, a whole gob of parts are going to yeah. show up, and they're going to put them together like they're Legos. Right, right. Now they snap together. To times. create what? A giant to coil. Create, yeah, a giant coil. And I'm going to wrap that. It, it depends on on what it is. I've got to do the, the figuring on the wire, but I'm going to put the biggest wire on it I can do, and jury rig a uh, rheostat into a voltage regulator and get something that I can go from zero to whatever I want and hook that some bitch up to 110 and see what it does. Mm. Are, are you familiar with any of the folks in climate change besides Greta? You know, high-profile people that believe all that climate change and we did this and we did that and gas house, greenhouse crap. Uh, other than knowing that Soros is funding a lot of that, no. Oh, well, there you go. Well, okay. Soros is uh, yeah. Soros yeah. is a good guy because you know what? He, he's predictable. Yeah. Um, he's never going to do nothing for you. That's uh-huh. it. But he'll pay you to do shit. How many trillions of dollars has the manufacturers of Q-tips and hand sanitizer and all this new mask bullshit? Oh, yeah. How many? They're, they're yeah. banking. The rich folks just get piling in the money and so they own a bunch of that shit. Yep. Yeah, they're banking. Yeah. Amazon's well, banking. Yeah. Well, that's the rumor, Ike. I'm just, I'm living so small out here in Demark. My my big highlight was uh, going out and watering the plants today. Yeah, because I didn't have to go to town to go get nothing. I was already prepared. I'm a prepper now, guys. Oh, goody. I was prepared until Friday. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, when I run out of milk in the afternoon, I'm going to have to go. Oh, uh, it's time to panic. No, no, no. There's none of that shit going on. Here. Oh, okay. And there's like five different grocery uh, stores in a three mile area. Yeah. Lucky you. So these people are, <laughs> they are lazy. They don't want to spend their time off of their work shit shopping. Yeah. They're and not driving, consumers. Driving across country to shop. Nah, well. <laughs> now nah, they just walk to town. Some of them drive, yeah. but nah, people just walk yeah. around here and yeah. have an ice cream. Boring, just boring, dull shit. Fast, look, their fast food is, uh, they're not major chains. They got a McDonald's here, but I never go to it. So I'm looking at a chart here on golf cart batteries. Uh-oh. A six battery, six volt system. Uh, running at 36 volts uh, will produce 1,350 amps. And we'll run that uh, golf cart approximately 22 miles. So there's a kind of a baseline for something to go on. Yeah, but that golf cart doesn't have capacitors in it. You don't need that much when you're running the capacitor system. All you need is enough to keep the capacitor charged. Okay. But uh, I wasn't thinking about that a while ago. It's going to take a little bit larger uh, compartment for it. Uh, Well, you've got all the space below the, the support bar in the middle. Yeah, we could use that and put in all the capacitors we could ever need. Right. Well, right. if you're using batteries, how much do the batteries weigh that you use for this project? What uh, on so the on the in, in one home you you got a your generator, right? Oh, that. Yeah. If, well, if you're if you're powering your house off of whatever through a battery system yeah power in your whole house you're talking two to three kilowatts uh 
and that would be uh, 20 batteries. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm, I keep hearing about all this conservation. You know, electricity is using it, blah, blah, blah. People don't seem to get in the first place. You burn an oil to get the electricity. Yeah, so absolutely. They skip that step completely. And yeah. then my I was just starting sitting here thinking about, well, if you're going to – Gonna store power to run your own home. How much do the batteries weigh? How much space would that take up? Well, twenty batteries worth. But think about it like this: How long does a battery last? Five years. Yeah. Oh, I, one. You oh, get I, a good one. Okay. okay how much do twenty batteries cost? Every five years, you got to put that much back into it, at least. And and it use it loses ten percent of its efficiency every, every year. year. Yeah. So after ten years, you got to replace the solar panels. So like usual, and all that matter. shit goes into hazardous waste. You have to pay extra to get rid of it. Yeah, but you can drop your mask on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Seen that well, today. I, I don't know why. I just got this idea about, well, how much room and how much weight would these batteries take up? And it just doesn't seem like you're getting anywhere. Not, not, not with your idea, but with the way they're changing things in the present moment. It's like they're, they're not really changing anything. They're just telling the layman they're changing something. If, if everybody went to electric cars, boy, the pollution would really drop down. No, it wouldn't, because you'd have to build thousands of power plants to generate the electricity to recharge those cars. Keep up with it, yeah. Unless yeah. you're building power stations running on coils. There's another application. Okay, so how did they trick all these people into believing that because they're using battery power as a source, that they're not burning elect they're not using uh, petroleum? Evidently, they've never had to change the battery in their car. Uh, well, well, of course not, because this, that market, for one, the market isn't here yet. Electric cars is coming. They keep, you know, every year, oh, they're coming. So they get a few thousand more out every, eh, blah, 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 or even a hundred thousand. It's just, uh, but it's like the, the waste that they're putting into this is so obvious to me, and it fools a lot of other people. We've just I'm been sitting on them. my seat of superiority there, looking down on the small mind. They're brainwashed by the TV. It can't be that simple. Can it? Really? Well, it's not. It's the TV and the newspapers and the Internet and the schools. And the churches, and okay, oh, so if we people forgot. Are, I want to kill myself for convenience. Let's get a new okay. cell phone that puts out twice as much radiation as is approved. So these things cripple us, but they leave us smart enough to run the push the buttons. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So by not participating in it, okay, I feel a little bit more comfortable now. I'm, I'm not saying that everybody in the world is stupid and I'm not. No, okay? I know that, Larry. Don't get me no, wrong. No, no. But I call it the there, collective. Yeah, yeah there, there are so many people that just have the wrong ideas about the way things are supposed to be. You can't have something unless you do something for it. <laughs> That's the way it is. What's mine is mine. What's yours is yours. If you want something that's mine, ask me for it. Don't steal it from me. If you ask me for it, I'll probably give it to you or make some trade with you. But if you try to steal it from me, I'll do my best to kill you. That's that's the way it is. Reality. Right. But then we got TV. Ah, I see what you mean. Yeah, well... Um, yeah, no but I can, I can still look at that stuff, and I see it as entertainment, not any sort of reality. I mean, it's cute to see the 110-pound girl whip the shit out of seven guys, 
But you know what ain't going to ever fucking happen? <laughs> that. That, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> but we've been taught all this shit through television. Yeah, it's, you know, I say the same thing in the long run. But I didn't realize it was... Uh, I, if people aren't reading and they're not doing anything uh, intellectual... Where does their knowledge come from? TV. Wow. TV. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Read the five great dialogues of Plato. One Man in the Universe by Socrates. Anything by Marcus Aurelius. Uh, Black Elk Speaks. Read read some of the philosophies of the ancient people and, and the native people. The... The stuff that Europeans try to teach us, and nothing against Europeans, but the religions and the, the mind control that the Catholic Church has brought <laughs> is, is just... Well, that, that the, three major, the, the three major Abrahamic religions, yeah. Yeah. that's, for you that don't know what that is, that's Jewish, Muslim, and Christian. The Abrahamic religions, the religions that follow Abraham. Mm -hmm. They don't follow Jesus. They don't follow God. They follow Abraham. <laughs> well, all these, see, there's all these loopholes and everything. Don't let me pop your bubble. Oh, my bubble was popped years ago. I'm bubble <laughs> I know better. Yeah. But you know, at least when I'm doing something fucked up, I already know that. I don't yeah. I don't need to have some other person come into my space and tell me that what I'm doing is, is bad for me or wrong or some that I, I know all that by myself. Yeah. So I get really you pissed your own over decision to live with the results. Yeah, and I get really pissed off over all this society's fucking obsession to, to make you do every fucking thing it says. Please. No. And it's gone this way forever. I mean, people with money want other people that don't have money to, to look up to them and yeah. be impressed. Yeah. And I, I'm not. I'm special. You know, like Bill Gates is a rich man, and I, I'm so not into that game. I only it took, took me till today to really consider, well, you know, the guy can pay people to do anything he fucking wants. Yep. And I thought about it, but never hit me like it did today. Today it was just like a slap, like I woke up to something new about how this man can do so much damage to so many people. And he gets praised for doing it, too. Yeah. Because yeah. he writes his own news editorials. Well, he's his yeah. own PR man. <laughs> and here we are, using Windows on the Internet and all this shit. But the people that seem to be the least aware that there's a trap being you know, used on them, they're the ones that are for this. They're... they're if I had my way, I'd shut it all down tonight. Stop it. Yep. Nice knowing everybody living in Denmark. See ya. Have a good <laughs> life. But the reality of life doesn't dictate I could do that. But it'd be the best thing for us. Yeah. What? It's all this greed and gimme, gimme, and I want, and I'm special, and it's created all this crap because they use shitty equipment. <laughs> they they feed us shitty shit, water, food, air. And then they to say, look, look, you guys are out of control. <laughs> yeah. Not, kind of un eliminating the point of, well, we're, we're fueling you to do this, but hey, you're wrong. Here's a jail cell for you. Oh, you were smoking some green things. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a playground boy that come up, grab your hand and make you slap your face and say, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I, did, I didn't suffer through much of that. Maybe when I was like seven, when the kid across the street tried it. 
but he told everybody else what I did, so nobody else wanted to try. <laughs> Cause that shit quick. But you know, the a, you know the scene I'm talking about. Yeah, but I had a bigger little brother and a crazy father, so yeah. Balance, I, I stayed. At, I avoided it all. It was beautiful how I lived. <laughs> Just kind of walked into well, everything. Uh, we did <laughs> it at the end of the show. Hmm. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. I had I had a giggle tonight. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'm gonna go fish and fish in tournament. Now. Yeah, enjoy yourself. I hope you yeah. catch a big one. Thanks a lot, Rob and Larry, and everybody out yep. there. Thanks everybody for listening. Yeah, and we'll see you again next week. You bet you're always fun.